Do you need to connect your smartphone or laptop to a professional audio system? Well, in this video, I'll show you three ways to adapt a 3.5 millimeter or eighth inch connector to XLR. You can find links to each of these products in the description of this video. But if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you want to learn audio production online, subscribe to Audio University. The first and simplest option is a 3.5 millimeter to stereo XLR adapter. This adapter has a 3.5 millimeter TRS plug on one end and two male XLR connectors on the other end. It takes in a stereo left and right signal from your device through the 3.5 millimeter TRS. Then it splits the left and right channel into two XLR connectors. The left signal goes to one XLR and the right signal goes to the other. I'd recommend this method if it's important to maintain a stereo signal with the left and right channels separated. I can plug the left signal into one channel of my interface or mixer and the right channel into another. Although this option adapts to XLR connectors, the signals are still unbalanced. So if you're running the cable more than just a few feet, you might end up with a noisy signal. The second option is this device, the Rapco Horizon LTI blocks. It's got a 3.5 millimeter plug on one end and an XLR output on the other. The LTI blocks transforms the unbalanced stereo signal from your device to a balanced mono signal. With a balanced connection, you can send the signal over a much longer XLR cable without worrying too much about picking up unwanted noise along the way. To learn more about balanced circuits, you can watch this video. If it's okay to sum the left and right signal into one single channel, this is a great option. It allows you to run a single XLR cable instead of two XLRs. Plus, it has a built-in attenuator knob for adjusting the level. The last option is to use a stereo DI box, such as the Radial Pro AV2. The Pro AV2 can transform an unbalanced 3.5 millimeter stereo input to a balanced stereo XLR output. With a stereo DI box like this, you can run separate left and right channels over long XLR cables without worrying about picking up noise along the way. The Radial Pro AV2 is a really useful tool to have in general. It allows you to connect instruments with quarter inch connectors, such as keyboards or guitars, as well as devices with RCA jacks. There are links to all of these products in the description of this video. Here are my recommendations. If you're only running the cable a few feet, go with the 3.5 millimeter dual XLR adapter. If you're looking for a quick and easy option for longer distances that allows level control, go with the Rapco Horizon LTI Blocks laptop interface. If you want a professional option that can be used in a variety of situations, I recommend investing in the Radial Pro AV2 Stereo DI Box. When you use the product links in the description of this video, I'll receive a small commission for helping you to find the right option, at no additional cost to you. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. For more content like this, subscribe to Audio University.